a beautiful, beautiful morning here in North Alabama. We are uh, headed to fish. I'm gonna try to get on some bigger spots, some rainbows. Not, no, no rainbows. What am I talking about? I just woke up. No rainbows, red eyes, and spots. And, uh, but anyway, we walked out the door this morning and it was a cool, crisp 57 degrees. Sun's just peeking over the cloud, the horizon here. Feels beautiful. Reminded me of fall, and I, we couldn't be more excited. So, uh, stick around. We're gonna try something different today. We're gonna run some dry droppers. Uh, really, I guess popper droppers today. And, uh, see what we can do. We're gonna try to get the poppers to, to catch some fish that's looking top water, and I know they are. But we're gonna use them uh, subsurface streamers and crawfish and other little things to try to get some some bigger spots. Uh, they tend to hit those a little better <clears throat> where we're going. But anyway, stick around, stay tuned. This is going to be a fun, fun day. Just be careful. We got a game tonight. We don't want to get hurt. Yeah, I want you to cast it, fish it, fish it good. There's fish in there. hundred percent, they are. I'm going to use a black popper today for my dry fly and probably, I don't know yet what I'm going to use for my subsurface, but we are going to catch our goal today, Link, is to enjoy the beauty. Look how pretty it is over there and catch some fish. Uh, we can go whichever way you want to go. Yeah, we're saying a natural color. I am. I think a Sam's one would do some good here. I'm going to save that for like, we don't catch nothing all day. <laughs> okay. Stonefly be a good dry dropper? Yeah, Stonefly would be a good dry dropper. Yeah, I don't, yeah cast on the rock as close as you can to this big rock on this side of it and let it come in. I want you to land it right in that white part of that water. Let it drift right along that edge of that rock towards that limb. There he is. Top water, Link. Top water. Kusa. Right there, stop. Oh. They're definitely hitting top water and hard. I've got plenty of black ones if they start hitting this better than the white. Well, they might be getting yellow. Yeah, maybe. The Sam's one would definitely work good here. I think we've overfished this one. We've got like three hit. Ah, it's not. I did that last time right there. It's a perfect spot for a tree. <laughs> perfect spot for a tree. What? You miss one? I didn't. What? Sunfish. Huh? What are you using? Black popper? Look him in the nose. Thank you, fish. Thank you. It's all about where you cast and how you do it, man. So listen to me. Pretty fish. Thank you, fish. Fumbled every fish today. So what I'm saying is, this is not just a cast it out there. It's a cast it out there 
<clears throat> purposefully, knowing where you're going with it. Envision that cast. Envision hitting that bubble, not just in that area. Maybe that bubble right there, and it's gonna make your cast a lot tighter and a lot closer, okay? And once you get it in there, now watch what I do. See my fly right here? Yeah. Okay, what I would do if I'm out there where I was fishing just a minute ago, I'm just slowly stripping it in. I'm letting it go, and see it's moving on its own, and I just come on in just a little bit. See, and it's still moving. Here, it's moving. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not too much weight, just enough. Just enough to make it kind of move. It looks like something real. You're better at roll casting than I am. I can't get it over there. Say, I've done hit the water too many times, probably won't catch a fish. Cause this is a big old hole. This would be a perfect hole for like a, if we had like an inflatable kayak or inflatable something to float in. Just getting it down here would be a booger. I love this place, man. It's beautiful. All right, that's what we're gonna do. You see where that water's flowing around that biggest rock? Yeah. We're gonna get over here to where you can cast just on the other side of that little yeah. riffle or whatever you call it, okay, that running water, and let it swirl around in there, and there should be a fish over there. If not, they'll be in that little pool. There's a bunch of these pools down here that they should be some coosa in. You might catch a sunfish too. Yeah. Cast more this way, this, this side. Good, good cast. Right there. Stop. Don't pull it. It's a good cast. All right. Try it again. All right. I'll leave you. Leave it in the water. Kind of mend it down, downstream and then come to me. Walk this way as you're mending. Right, when you get on that rock now, cast at that big, this, that rock right in front of you under that, right where that tree's at. No, right here. Yes, right there. Believe it. Because I've watched them fish swim from, you know, 10, 15 feet away and come up and smack it so they can see it when it hits. All right, nothing happened. Oh, right there it is. Boom. See? That's why it's so important not to pick it up every time it's a sunfish, I think. Yeah, but still, that's that's a fish. That's good, dude. That's great. That's great. That's why even if you make a bad cast somewhere, just to let it kind of rock and rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Lang. <laughs> good. And this is all learning. I don't know. That's how one I caught down there was. I right, tell him thank you and release him. Dude, every fish today I've dropped two. I don't know. It's all what it is. All right, so we're good with this spot. We're going to get you a calico here soon, man. Oh, yeah, you can cast better. Yeah, we're going to. I just don't know when or what reel to pair it with. I think I want to invest in a sink tip line. What? There's some big fish giving me looks. Holy cow, there's some big ones in here, dude. I don't know where to go now. It sounds like there's more stuff down there, but I don't know. Do you want to keep going or do you want to go back? Mm -mm. It ain't really been a great day. Mm -mm. So go back then. We'll fish our way out.
I'm telling you, it's a, it's a sunfish, but you got to fish closer to the bank at the, on this. That's where they hang out at. Thank you, fish. Where are they at, you said? Are they big? You made a cast and that you really didn't if I catch one? Yeah. Should be ready to drop your rod if need be, okay? I don't see any fish. I don't see any of them. Come here. That's a coos, I think. Keep tension on it. You got it. All right. That's a coos. It is. That'd be the biggest one today. Yes, sir. Look at you go, lanky row. This is the biggest one today. It is the biggest one? Yep. Uh -huh. Hold my rod straight out. Hold your rod straight out. Whoa, what about Phil? I'm gonna lay this here, like that. Okay. Right there, to there, and that's two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half inches. Here you go. Not a bad little. Stand right here. Good job. <laughs> Tell them thank you. Thank you, fish. Good job, Link. You know where I went? Under a rock. Right under that rock. <laughs> here, uh, it seems like the natural flies work a lot better. I'm not work a lot better than like the fake looking ones, you know, like the actual buggy looking flies. So, huh? I mean, I caught a bunch this morning off of the, the black uh, boogle bugs, but not to say that, I don't know, it's hard to, it's hard to explain. I think they're more apt to hit a natural looking fly. Right, exactly. Yeah, you don't want a a purple and sparkly hamburger, do you? No, no. You want a hamburger that's looks like a hamburger. It's in my opinion, anyway. Now I know that the funky color stuff catches different types of fish, and that's fine. But here I've noticed that the natural colors, man, buggy looking stuff work. And I'm not sure, huh? Does he make more different colors? Oh yeah, he makes all kind. Yeah, all kind of different ones. Even blue ones. Yeah, blue ones, purple ones, pink ones. I just caught a fish. I don't know if it's a pink one. He was swimming with it. He saw Yeah, he went underwater and he was swimming with it. This will be. I don't know what they are. Come here. You see them? Yes. What do you think they are? See, they don't even want none of this. See, they just swim off. We scared them. But see, they're huge. Okay, guys, uh, we just finished up, and uh, we didn't catch as much fish today as we usually do, but it's my first time being here, and... Did you have a lot of fun? Had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. You caught a few fish. Definitely caught a few fish. Caught a seven and a half inch. Cool, and there's some mystery fish out here. We don't know where they are. Yeah, we have no idea what they are. They're big. Length thinks they're carp. I don't see the carp scales but they have little mouths on the bottom. I don't know. I don't know what they are. But anyway, it, it was a good day. We uh, woke up this morning. It's definitely starting to cool off a little bit. Um, no doubt, it feels great. We're just sitting here enjoying the, the scenery. I mean, look at this, guys. Like, look at this. You need to get behind me. You're by yourself. Nobody's down here bothering you. The water's too cold to swim. It's my heaven. It's my Eden. It's where we walk with God. Yep. 
But uh, anyway, let's go get some lunch. Go rest up. This cat's got a football game this afternoon. You know that? First game. And we didn't put up chest mount on. Yeah, that would be cool. If you could wear a chest mount during a game. Say, down. Ready, set, go. We'll tackle that and bust it. <laughs> Maybe not. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe as always. So, peace. Have a good one. Love to all. And to all a good night. It's kind of like a hippie Santa Claus, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right. We're out. See ya.